Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we are taking a look at a Fjall Raven backpack. This is the vintage 30 liter pack. Let me do a 360 for you. Now, already guys, I have begun testing this pack out and there's a lot to like about it. But at the same time, there's one aspect that I don't quite care for and we'll touch upon that in just a moment. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's take a look at it now. Now, as mentioned, this backpack is super comfortable. I've already begun testing it out and I like it a great deal. I like Fjall Raven. You guys already know that. So as you can see here, we'll take a look at the pack from this angle, then we'll go around to it. You have the padded shoulder straps. You do have the sternum strap. You also have a waist belt, which is nothing more than just a strap that's adjustable. There is no pad. The straps here can be adjusted with the adjustment holes right here on both sides. Taking a look at the back of the pack here, you have this nice mesh panel that goes against your back that allows for lots of airflow to go in between your back and the pack, and it really does work well. Fjall Raven refers to this as their air vent system. It does have a lumbar pad right here, which does separate the pack and the pad itself, which is nice. Again, very, very comfortable. It does have a grab handle here at the top. Now behind this mesh panel, you can probably see that there are two aluminum stays that give this pack some rigidity that gives it its frame. There's also a steel strip that goes along here, down at the bottom. Now going to the front of this pack, what you have is a very vintage style pack here, very bushcrafty, I guess you could say. You have two pockets, on the sides, you have the bucket compartment that takes up the rest of the pack. As you can see here, the side pockets and the front flap here is accessible through the leather straps. First off, it really makes accessing the pockets and the front flap slow. Very, very slow. And to me, that's a shame. I understand that they're going after the vintage style and all. So you can't really take away points because of that. But I would love to see a version of this pack that has buckles instead. Just make the whole process of getting and putting up so much easier. Now with the two pockets on both sides, I do have to subtract some points because of the fact that, let's see, there we go, that they are not securable. Even with that leather strap put on there, the top of the pocket is still open. So, I mean, if you had your pack leaning on its side or for some reason that it toppled over, there's a good possibility that whatever you have in those pockets will fall out. So with that being said, you may want to keep your water bottles in there, something bigger, something that really takes up the entire size of the pocket that won't fall through any of the gaps that separate the lid and the pocket itself. That's a slight negative. Going on to the inside of this pack, you do have a safety pocket that's right here. It is zippered, and it is the only zipper on this pack. So you can put whatever you need to to secure it inside of here, and that is a YKK zipper. You do have two drawstrings, one at the middle of the bag and at the top. And as you can see here, you do have a good bit of expandability. This is a 30 liter bag, so you definitely have quite a bit of space. Inside of this pack right now, I have one of my wife's pillows. <laughs> and on the inside of this pack, you just have basically a large rucksack. There is one pocket with a drawstring on the inside. It's a long tubular pocket, so if I make a fist and shove it into that pocket there, it goes right up basically to my elbow. So it's pretty long. You could fit maybe a very narrow water bladder in this. You may be able to take a water bladder and kind of just push it in there. That's something that we'll have to test out. The bottom of the pack here is reinforced with a very rubbery type material just to make it that much stronger. So my friends, as mentioned, I like this pack a lot. I've already begun wearing it and testing it out and it's a great pack. You have to keep in mind that it is a vintage style pack. It would be nice, like I said, if they offered a version of this that actually had quick release buckles. That would make this really, really awesome. Also, if they can make it so that these side pockets were securable, maybe with a drawstring or a zipper or something like that, 
that would be very nice as well. This pack weighs just a little bit over two pounds, so it's not very heavy at all. The material here is the Fjall Raven G1000 material, which is 65% polyester and 35% cotton. You can impregnate this pack with wax, Greenland wax, and make it 100% waterproof if that's something that you want to do. This pack is going into testing now with the Outdoor Gear Review, and in the future you guys can look forward to our review. If you're interested in one of these packs, please know that they come in multiple sizes. This is the 30 liter, there is a 20 liter, and there's also a 13 liter. These packs also come in a number of different colors. Let's see here. There is a khaki, a navy blue, an olive, a dark olive, and a red color. If you were to purchase this from Fjall Raven directly, you would pay about 150 bucks. If you were to go to Amazon, you will find these for $110. If you're crafty, like myself, you will be able to look on sites such as Sierra Trading Post, and you'll find them for about 99 bucks. Grab yourself a 35% off coupon and save a ton of money. Or you can go on eBay like I did, and I found this for $30 in use condition, but in great condition. That's how it's done. So my friends, if you guys have any questions for me, please feel free, drop me a line, let me know. I'm happy to help out if I can. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll definitely see you guys around. Everybody, take care, be well, strength and honor.